Giant heavyweight prospects David Price and Tom Dallas collide after John McDermott's late notice withdrawal against the Liverpudlian. Obviously disappointed with the news earlier in the week, the original opponent who pulled out John McDermott, but uh, once I heard Tom Dallas was stepping in, uh, you know, I knew this was potentially an even more exciting fight. Two unbeaten heavyweights, someone, you know, is going to lose their record, unbeaten record, so it's worth, worth watching. They're both unbeaten and know each other well, having tested each other in the gym with some gruelling sparring sessions. Now, they put friendship aside as they battle it out to see which prospect moves forward. Price has the amateur pedigree, and the 2008 Olympic bronze medalist looked explosive, recently stopping American import Raphael Butler. Oh, wow. Thank you and good night. This fellow's a dangerous opponent, and, you know, it, I'm, I'm not going to get tested till I'm at the top level. That's how it's going to be. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm world class now, and I am. While Dallas has struggled with another visitor, scraping by the awkward Zach Page in a disappointing performance. Win, lose, or draw. This certainly has been the learning experience that we talked about for Tom Dallas. And if he thought the game was easy, he knows different now. Zach Page has taken him to school tonight. It's the worst I've performed, I think. I've had 14 good wins, and this is a bad day at the office. Um, I think I got a bit frustrated halfway through because I couldn't really hit him, he was moving too much, so I just got a bit bored. So, I mean, it's a learning fight because in future I've got to keep me head. Tom was very predictable in what he'd done, but he admits he made a mistake, so we had a little bit of luck on our side tonight and we have to go back to the drawing board. But if Price is the more accomplished boxer, there are still question marks concerning his own durability. Untested so far in the pro ranks, and what isn't in doubt is that both big guys can certainly punch their weight. It's an enticing matchup as two power punchers put their futures on the line. I've, I've just got to take the fight to him. If I stand there, there's no way I'm going to stand there and out jab him. So I've got to take the fight to him. I can see it being a, a, an explosive fight for them the way I go, and I think I don't think it's going to go the distance. I wouldn't blink anyway, but I'm confident of a David Price victory. It's a fascinating, fascinating match of this, isn't it's, it? It's a very good match because the, the two young fighters who were starting the career both undefeated. And you know the, the only difference about it is Dallas is he took a short notice, but to do that he must have some confidence. You know he, he, they've sparred together. Well, we've got footage of them sparring together. How much confidence does it give you when you, you've been in the ring for, for both fighters? And, you, and you, done a lot of rounds? you feel the strength, the speed, the timing of your opponent. And, and, and I know they say fighting and, and sparring is completely different, but for these two to have sparred with each other so many rounds because of the height. Uh, they will know each other inside out. They will know what the weaknesses are, what the strengths are, if they're fast, if they're good on their feet, if they've got good hand foot coordination. I, I think. You, you know, Johnny and Sporn, you, you always keep a little bit of back. Yeah, of course. You, you know, because you know, they, they've got to know when they're sparring there that one day this could happen, one day they could be in the ring. So you, you're always a little bit wary to give somebody every, and everything. That, that's what that, was, what that means to think why Dallas is thinking, you know what, I'm taking this fight. I've seen something I can do you with must it. Must do, must. David Price last time out was here, it was only six weeks ago. Raphael Butler was the opponent. He was very, very impressive. Dal uh, uh, Price has got uh, excellent reach, excellent jab, picks the shots well, sees the opening, doesn't hesitate, takes it. That's what he's good at. Well, it was the way he did that, you know, such a, such a well-timed punch. You know, and it was all, it was very, very loose. It's early on in the fight, yet he was, he was loose enough, quick enough and powerful enough to get Butler out of there. I think this is the right time for both fighters to start taking a chance. Uh, they're, they're 27 and 26 years old. They, they, they've just got like a dozen uh, or so fights, uh, professional uh, between them. So, you know what? It's the right time for now to push and make a chance. There comes a time in the career when you've got to do that. You've got to, you've got to take that step, go to the next level, and, and if th that's going to be hard. If David Price has a weakness, perhaps it's his chin. He's been over a few times in the amateurs. Tom Dallas is a puncher, a big, big puncher. And that's probably what Tom is, is looking for. He knows he's got the snap, he knows he's got that shot, he knows, he probably knows he can reach David Price's chin. So all he's hoping on for the first five or six rounds, he's gonna put the pressure on because he knows he can, he can take him out if he lands. It's his heavyweight scene, you know, as a heavyweight, anybody that sits on your chin, they're going down. He said earlier on that he was going to take his time, but I don't think he will. I think <laughs> he will He will go and try and let the, the big punches go. He's got to, you know, he's got to test that chin. And remember, there's no head guards on now. And so you, that's, that, that, that could be a big difference. Two unbeaten fighters collide. A heavyweight showdown, six foot eight inch. Olympic bronze medalist David Price has been sparring with David Hay in preparation for the big one. 
takes on Tom Dallas, who stepped in at short notice after John Maduma pulled out. Someone's O has got to go. Taking a big, big gamble with his career. Will it pay off against the Olympic bronze medalist, David Price? One last look in the mirror. When he looks in the mirror again, will his undefeated record still be intact? Crowd ready to welcome this brilliant heavyweight contest. Our MC is Gary Logan. Thanks again, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. Where you now join us for our main event. Please welcome Tom Dallas. Well, as everyone knows, Tom Dallas only took this fight at short notice, and although the unbeaten prospect from Kent is considered a really big underdog, in a sense, there's nothing to lose. If he wins, everyone's going to be talking about him. If he loses, well, they can say it was down to a lack of preparation. Either way, he gets a big pat on the back for stepping in and putting himself in the firing line. Whatever happens tonight, there's every chance that Tom Dallas could emerge with his standing greatly enhanced. And no question, of course, that this is far and away the best opponent he's faced. But here comes the big fella, boxing in his own backyard. A guy who seems to be getting better and better and looks ready now to really take off David Price. And now, Liverpool, please welcome to the ring, David Price. Let's join David Price on his incredible journey. Well, Price has been sparring with David Hay, acting as a Klitschko clone. But tonight, the big man from Liverpool has to put his own career first when he takes on another British prospect with his eyes on the big time. Price has set his sights on following Hay to the summit of heavyweight boxing. But to get there, it's one step at a time. And that climb starts right now with this eliminator for the British and Commonwealth titles. One small step for the big fella, but the road to the top is a treacherous one. Uh, this place has really taken David Price to their hearts. A standing ovation as he comes in. Two real giants in there. Price, of course, six foot eight. Dallas, little fella, six foot six. Price with the uh, weight advantage, a stone and a pound, give or take, a little bit of a reach advantage as well. And uh, these two fellas both bringing unbeaten records in. 25 fights between them uh, don't go anywhere because 10 of those 25 fights have ended inside a round and uh, it's a 10 rounder Bob me our uh, ringside statistician but despite it being a 10 rounder we have three scoring judges here what's that yeah Nick that's as for the championship fight earlier the British Board of Control have used their discretion on this they feel it's such an important fight it's the right thing to do non-scoring referee three ringside judges The officials appointed for this contest by the British Boxing Board of Control in conjunction with the Commonwealth Council. Your steward in charge for both the British Boxing Board of Control and the Commonwealth Council is Je Mr. Jeff Bolter. Your medical supervisor is Dr. Pinkney. The judges appointed by the, for this contest by the British Boxing Board of Control and the Commonwealth Council are Howard Foster of Doncaster, Mark Green of Romford and Ian John Lewis of Gillingham. And when the action begins, the third man in the ring will be your referee from Paisley, Mr. Victor Lockman. This contest is proudly presented to you by Frank Maloney in association with Stephen Vaughan and generously sponsored by CYC, Southwark Metals, Red Square Vodka, Fake Bake Tanning Solutions and BBE Britannia Boxing. And now, fight fans, this is your main event. 10 three minutes rounds of boxing and is an eliminator for both the British and Commonwealth heavyweight titles. Introducing to you firstly, in the red corner, wearing the black trunks with white trim, he fights out of Chatham and weighs in at 16 stone, five pounds and eight ounces. 
He enters the ring with an undefeated 15 win professional career. 11 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome Tom Dallas. We go across the ring to his opponent in the blue corner wearing the red trunks with white trim. He fights out of Liverpool and weighs in at 17 stone, six pounds and eight ounces. As an amateur, he was a three-time ABA Super Heavyweight Champion, a 2006 Commonwealth Games gold medalist, as well as returning from the 2000 Beijing Olympic Games as a bronze medalist. As a professional, he is undefeated with 10 contests. Eight of those 10 contests is ending by knockout. Please welcome David Price. <laughs> this is 10 three minute rounds of boxing. Boxers, please. Okay, guys, had your socks in the dressing room. Remember, obey my commands at all time. Defend yourselves at all time. God bless, touch them. Victor Lachlan, our referee, absolutely dwarfed by these two, as most of us would be. Uh, eliminator for British and Commonwealth titles, and uh, somewhere John McDermott, I'm sure, watching this, nursing that throat infection. He was the original opponent for Price. He's been promised a final eliminator against the winner of this one. They're mates, they've sparred together, but friendship very much on the back burner as these two big fellas get down to serious business but both of them can punch we know that as an amateur price was on the floor a few times as well i think of the current crop of young heavyweights in the way up i think tom dallas is, is the strongest the single punch hitter i think tremendous power he has and, and just... i remember he has volunteered to take this fight the price is at this match thrust upon him I don't know psychologically if that gives him a slight edge, but he obviously fancies the job, he fancies he can get that big right hand home. And full credit to him for going for it. And if he does get that big right hand home, who knows what will happen. These two may faced American opponents last time out, Raphael Butler walked onto the end of a David Price long right hand and uh, didn't hear the uh, bell for the end of the first round. Where poor old Tom Dallas ran into Zach Page and barely laid a glove on him. It was very fortunate. Oh, there's a shot. Very fortunate to get the decision. You never know with the heavyweights. One punch can end it all. And a decent little left hand from Price. Yeah, Price's jab's working well in the opening round. You wonder if Dallas feels OK. He boxed a month ago in the round uh, fight. You wonder maybe if he realises success. The earlier, the better, as far as he's concerned. You have to fancy Price is in the better shape of the two. Decent little left, and there's another one. And he looked to land the right hand and uh, followed up with the left as well. Good combination work from Price, letting the punches go. But Dallas having a go himself. Price is keeping nice and cool, keeping his hands up, just stepping back from the punch. He's not pulling away from them. So Price has boxed well in the opener. Cool and confident look about his boxing. Of uh, Dallas's early work, he's getting caught on the gloves and arms. Well, at least he's throwing some punches, and as we were, we all said, he, he kind of has nothing to lose here, Price. He could look very good and lose, and his stock could be enhanced. And one of those right hands gets through. I think Dallas has a problem. He telegraphs, you know, when he's about to throw a punch, whereas Price has a relaxed look and he just shoots the jab out. You don't see it coming, but you actually see when uh, Tom Dallas is about to do something. Good shots from Price. Yeah, he really lets the punches flow, doesn't he? Where, as you say, Dallas, you can also almost see the thought process going on at the moment, and we forget that Tom Dallas is still young. He's less than three years a pro. There's a lot of development in his career to come, but he uh, took a few shots there in that first round. And after that first round, you can see why. Yeah, well, that just pretty much underlines the fact that a tremendous start on this one to place. Feel sorry for Dallas because he's having to chase this. So couldn't get in close enough to get any powerful punches home. Landed a couple of shots, but all the good work coming from Price. Uh, round two of this British and Commonwealth 
Heavyweight title eliminator. David Price, the local man in the red of Liverpool. Against the man from Kent. Tom Dallas, the man who's taken this at such short notice after John McDermott had to withdraw. Which was such a shame, we were all looking forward to that one. But Dallas can certainly bang, and with the heavyweights, it's a cliche, but it's a fact. One punch can change everything. We have to remember Price, you know, as an Olympic class boxer. So I don't think Dallas is going to box his way close to get the big punches. I think he's going to have to take some chances, throw caution to the wind a little bit. He's not going to land single punches, so he's going to have to come at himself. But it's easier said than done. Now Dallas getting picked up with that left hand once again. The longer it went on with Zach Page for Tom Dallas, the more his work seemed to deteriorate. He was just running, moving in straight lines, no movement at all, which I'm yeah. sure is something that his handlers have worked on. Yeah, it was just short of ideas, but I'm sure after a performance like that, he's been straight back to the gymnasium again to try and address that. So he's probably still in good shape. OK, there's a difference between a good shape and, uh, and actually in shape for an important match. So again, we have to realise that Price will be in better shape but Dallas is doing well, he's competing, but just can't get close enough to get anything effectively off. A good shot's there from Price. Yeah, and Price having some success with that left as well. Dallas is throwing punches and gets through with a decent right to the body there, but a lot of his punches are getting caught on the gloves and the arms. Now, you can see why Dallas has fancied the job. You know, he's come close a couple of times, but the quality really... It's coming from David Price, especially that jab. <laughs> Stepping in with the right hand now. Did that trouble Dallas a little bit? Is that a nosebleed, maybe? That I think that might like be. a powerful shot there. Yeah. I think there's a bit of red around the nose of Tom Dallas. And again, he can't get into range. Definitely a nosebleed now. And there was a thumping right hand from Price. Well, he is setting him up nicely, isn't he, with these uh, these left jabs. Switched downstairs, the right hand gets him. I don't think Tom Dallas is going to recover from that. That is another one-punch knockout from a guy whose power looks absolutely sensational. And look at that, no celebration from Tom, from uh, David Price, because Tom Dallas and he are good mates. Well, that was class all the way through from David Price. His defence was sound. The question marks over his chin. He'll probably be fed up hearing people talking about that. But we don't know that because he hardly took a decent punch on the chin. That's nice to see sportsmanship. They're good friends. I believe Tom Dallas would have been well paid to step in here tonight. But full credit to the man for he putting his undefeated record on the line. And uh, here's the result here. Maybe an expected result. But full credit to him for making the effort. That right hand of David Price carries serious weight. That's back-to-back -back one punch knockouts now. One might be a fluke, two, forget it. Just ask Tom Dallas. That is some serious power. But yeah, he set him up so well with the left I hand. I was just about to say the patience she showed uh, as long as the fight lasted. He was never in any hurry. He landed a thumping shot earlier in the round to the nose, which was a bit of a sickener. Then you see Dallas, I don't know, maybe he could have pulled himself together. I don't think so because he still looked pretty badly stunned. Even sitting in the corner now, he looks stunned. But he picked the shot beautifully. Didn't waste a single punch from the opening bell, David Price. I thought it was class all the way through. And OK, Tom Dallas is a bit of a hero, but I wonder already if he started maybe to regret the decision he made. Lost his, his undefeated record. It's important maybe for heavyweights to keep undefeated records. Derek Chisora almost boxed for a world title because of an undefeated record. But uh, his is gone forever, but no shame, because that was a touch of class from David Price. Look at that, bang on the chin, beautiful punch, that really was a finisher. And the confidence, he's punching harder now with the confidence, setting himself 
they're, they're still administering to, to Tom Dallas in the corner at the moment, but everything's fine. He's walking out to the centre of the ring now. Yeah, he looks OK, doesn't he? Yeah, which is good. And David Price leading the applause for Tom Dallas, who did a terrific job of stepping in and, uh, boy, paid the price, didn't he? That right hand of David Price really hurt. It's uh, going to do some damage at a very high level in heavyweight boxing, you suspect. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time, 2 minutes and 45 seconds of the second round. Your winner by a technical count out and still undefeated from Liverpool, David Price. Mutual respect between two uh, real warriors. David Price extends his unbeaten record to 11. His ninth knockout victory. Look at the high difference as well with Frank Maloney. We'll be hearing from David Price and our guests, Glenn McCrory and Johnny Nelson. There. Well, David, a stunning one-punch knockout. Did, was that, did you make a real statement there tonight? Uh, yeah, I think so. But I think first and foremost, I'd just like to say how much you appreciated Tom Dallas stepping in at late, no, late notice. It took real guts to do so. Um, but I still didn't expect to win in such spectacular fashion against such a, a tough man, so I think I did make a statement. Were you setting him up for that right hand? Yeah, I was. I mean, I, I, was just, I was just trying to stay switched on mentally rather than throwing under the punches of rounds at first. I was just trying to see what he was going to bring to the table. Um, but, yeah, I, I could see the opening as the, as the fight was going on and it was there to be taken. Do you feel if you hit anyone in the world with that right hand, they're in trouble? Yeah, that's, yeah, I suppose so. I mean, it is, it is a good, powerful punch. It always has been since the back end of my amateur career. So, you know, it's not new to me that. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I think it could take many, many heavyweights out if it lands right. Right, mixed feelings at ringside because you promote both guys. Yeah, um, yeah, for David, it was like a great result. You know, um, he had more to lose than Tom. But, you know, full credit to Tom. And, you know, I'll, Tom will be back. There's no doubt about it. He's still part of our stable still still part of the, the company but you know tonight belongs to david price and we saw our uh, liverpool got behind him and hopefully the whole of britain will this guy is the best heavyweight out there by david hay at the moment in great britain well done tonight it was impressive didn't smile too much about it he's smiling a little bit now tom dallas fine behind the scenes by the way after that uh, knockout defeat but uh, david price Bar David Hay, says Frank Maloney, the best heavyweight in Britain. Discuss. <laughs> there might be a couple that will argue that fact, won't they, like Derek Chisora and Tyson Fury, but he's certainly up there. And, you know, the improvement that there's been over the last couple of fights, I mean, he, I thought of, of all the ones that was coming through, he was improving the least. You know, he just said he's staying like an amateur, and all of a sudden, something's happened, whether it's the great spawn he's getting with David Hay, when he was sparring all Andy Solis, I'm not, I'm not sure what it is, but something's clicked in the gear with him, and, and it's really impressive. Putting his punches together well, it's good to see a man six foot eight uh, throw body punches. I think it's the sparring that makes all the difference. It gives confidence to a fight. If you're going out and box, sparring with the likes of Solis and David Hay, and uh, you're thinking, well, you know what, I'm mixing, I'm, I'm, I'm able to stay with these guys, so it gives you confidence when you fight in domestic level. So for Price, I think the, the work he'd put into his professional career behind the scenes was a, is a massive. Uh, uh, indicator of, of how far he wants to go. A brave, brave man, Tom Dallas, stepping in at just five days' notice. Delighted to say he's, he's fine behind the scenes. He's talking to Ed Robinson. Well, Tom, you gave it a go, but were you just hit with a perfect right hand? It was. Uh, I'm not sure what shot it was. I didn't see it coming. So, yeah, I suppose it was. Do you regret taking the fight at such short notice? Uh, no, no, I don't, because I've, I've come into this game, I've said, oh, you know, I'm going to come anywhere and as much money as I can and I'll fight anybody. And I got paid, you know, a nice sum, and I, they offered me David Price. I said, yeah, and I'll fight him again tomorrow. Will this dent your confidence, or will you just have to go uh, back to the drawing board? No, uh, to be honest, it might make me think in future about taking a fight at such short notice, because, you know, since the last fight, I've not trained, done no sparring, so in the future, it depends on who it is, I might not take the fights. I don't know. I know you're friends with David Price. How good a fighter is he? Yeah, he is a good fighter, you know. Um, you can't just go in there expecting him to knock him out, because he is a good boxer. And if you do that, you will get knocked out. <laughs> but, Tom, you'll be back. Oh, I'll be back, yeah, definitely, yeah. Unlucky tonight. Sure. 
It doesn't do his career a lot of damage, that does it? Because he's, Not really. he's still got a lot in him. He's got a, he's got the excuse, you know. I mean, he, he did very well to come in at that sort of notice. He, but even so, I didn't expect David Price to do it in the fashion he did. You know, because because Tom Dallas is, is you know he's a big, big, strong, athletic fighter. Tom Dallas is a very very honest kind of fight, and he he, he kind of he indicates that when he's actually boxing, he, he, there's no nonsense. What you see is what you get. Try to walk uh, Price down. Excellent combination here. That's that you know you don't often see stuff like that from heavyweights, the body punch yeah, that, and bringing the shot right. back to the top. And, and then he did the same thing there this time. And that's what and the, got the, there, the, got the, right. the shot that took him out, Price. It was a smart shot. Price dropped to left to the body, took the con concentration away from the defence of the left hand to the head from uh, Tom Dallas. Dropped the hands a little bit. As soon as he saw the opening, picked it. He was just measuring it up and measuring oh, it up. What a cracking shot! I mean, P perfect from shot that, from that height, perfect, the, wasn't it? The leverage that he got it was similar to the last one, wasn't it? against Butler, you know, just a good right hand because he's got so much height, uh, so much reach and leverage. It's going to be a hard man to beat. Difficult question, but how far can he go? Made a stunning start to his pro career. It's a, it's a bit hard in the heavyweights to say this man's going to go all the way because, yeah. as you say, one punch changes everything. Domestically, that's what he wants to be looking at at the moment. The likes of Shizora, uh, McDermott, uh, uh, Tyson Fury. Let's worldwide, see him make worldwide, 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 you know, it's, 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 not, it's a weak division. And there's, there's opportunities for him. You know, Jarek Shizora almost had a world title fight. Yeah. You know, so, so there is an opportunity the, the, to get a world title fight. The best for him, for, thing for him to do is get international sparring. Go away, be a sparring partner, go in the backyard of champions and spar with them, build your confidence up and then feel, you know what, I can spar with these people, I can mix it with them, therefore I should be at this level. Being big John McDermott next, what does he bring to the table and what dangers does he provide? I think experience for one, he's, he's got more experience, he's also got fast hands, John McDermott, you know, and he's got power as well, but I think it's, it's the speed that, that might give Price some problems. It's how Price deals with it. You know, McDermott's got fast hands, but he's not got fast feet. So, mm. so uh, Price <laughs> has got to use his footwork, his reach, his height, uh, and, and that calm uh, uh, way he boxes and picks the shots to pick, a, pick McDermott apart because he cannot let him bully him. McDermott, initially, he seems uh, not very confident. He has to warm into a fight, so he needs to not give him the co but any it's good confidence. To, it's good to see these fights are out there. These mm. fights are happening now. You know, it's, it's, it's exciting in heavyweight boxing, especially when we've got the heavyweight championship of the world coming up. You know, we've got a few guys from Britain who are following Domest behind. Domestically, they're being made, and this is what the public want. Uh, so they're getting exactly what they want. And Liverpool loves its sporting heroes. We that could just have found another one here in, in David Price. Could be, it could be a local hero, could be a, a could world be. star. Could, could, could be a big star. And also, what a great night boxing we've had. It's been fantastic. Fantastic. Well, we'll bring you a little bit more action now. It features another...